what is going on ladies and gentlemen everybody how are you guys doing today this is alan aka house arrest here with another fantastic youtube video anyways today we'll be focusing on the new update it is december 11th the town hall 11 the most anticipated update in clash of clans history came out yesterday guys and it is honestly hype as fuck it's broken right now there's so many aspects of it that are broken but it is honestly it's still hype anybody who's been max town hall 10 for the last fucking year uh, and longer is really excited, really ecstatic. There's a new hero, there's new defenses. Uh, there's just a whole lot more going on. Anyways, guys, in today's video, we are going to be focusing on how to farm in and around 30k dark elixir in an hour only using your heroes. This is a hundred percent profit rating, guys. You don't have to put in a single troop, all you have to do is use your heroes. Uh, as you can see here, we have a sped up video of me. I just farmed this all of 30 seconds ago, guys. I just finished uh, filming this. This is my Archer Queen. She's level 40, so it helps us to go a little bit faster. But this is my Archer Queen just sniping town halls ruthlessly, guys. I started at 1,200 cups, and I, I go about to 1,400, 1,500 cups before I just drop right back down to 1,200 cups. All I'm looking for is town halls. I don't bring an army. The army you have, uh, you see at the bottom is my war army. That's what I'm going to be using uh, for war, obviously. But this is, all we're doing is sniping. As you guys may or may not know, uh, since the update, they've changed farming. So you can't just put your town hall to the outside and get a free shield. It's all based on the percentage of your base that is hit and how many stars they get. That's based, uh, that is how big of a shield you're going to get. So uh, the town hall is now a storage the town hall 10 this is what i've mean i i don't find any town hall 11s i don't think there's many people there i gemmed it first day i collected all the loot stayed up all night uh raiding 8 million gold and like 8 million elixir just in case just to make sure that i was up here and i could get town hall 11 immediately i gemmed the time of course because I, I was too excited to wait at Town Hall 10, you have the storage capacity to hold 1.5 million gold, 1.5 million elixir, and 20,000 dark elixir in your Town Hall. So this is the storage size. If you've noticed, your storages, uh, your gold storage and your elixir storage that were previously maxed out now hold a little bit less gold and elixir. They're now up at 1.75 mil gold, 1.75 mil elixir in each storage. Uh, you can now max out your storages. They can go up one more level, guys. You can go up to level 12, and you can hold a total when you're Town Hall 11 of 10 million gold and 10 million elixir. Anyways, the reason we're saying this, uh, I'm explaining this all, is because, again, the Town Halls are now storages that are on the outside. Free loot, guys. Free loot. A, a nice variety of each. The most I've ever got as a Town Hall 11 hitting a Town Hall 10 is 64,000 uh, gold, 64,000 elixir, and 480 dark, I believe. And I found a lot of them, guys. A hefty amount of maxed storages, maxed Town Hall storages sitting on the outside, and I'm still finding them today. Uh, as you can see, I'm probably only averaging about 100 to 200 dark elixir per town hall snipe but again guys this is taking seconds to do and it's a hundred percent profit the only cost is what it's taking to find the rates by hitting the next button but i'm finding these town halls so consistently it is really not an issue no troops no must no fuss guys this is a compilation of just about just over 10 minutes of town hall sniping and i'll show you what we got at the end and the time it took to do it we're of course skipping a lot of very raidable somewhat dead bases that you can bring an army to if you are if you want to uh this is not what i'm going for though i'm going for speed even if you want to bring just a couple of archers and barbarians to pick off some uncontested collectors along the way go for it guys this is more than you will still profit greatly i'm just so focused on dark elixir i just put my barb king down yesterday i'm going to be able to put him down tonight if i want to if i want to gem the time and put him right back down i can I would recommend, guys, I wouldn't even recommend, I would heavily advise you guys to go out and start sniping. If you play Clash, if you're going to play for the long run, this next week is absolutely imperative to how much Dark Lakes you can get. This is just Clash of Clans on crack. This is crack of clans right here, guys. Clash is broken right now, guys, and just take advantage of it. Do me a favor, do yourself a favor, take advantage of it. If you're a Town Hall 10 and your heroes are in the 20s, go and put them up, man. Like, this is your time to shine, guys. If you have low-level heroes, if you have low-dark troops, go and get that Dark Elixir, baby. 
let me break down the numbers for you now guys we started at 109,741 dark elixir we are now sitting at 115,280 dark elixir that is a total gain of 5,539 dark elixir in just under 11 minutes to keep the math simple and clean we'll say that it took us 11 minutes to claim this 5,500 dark so that's about 503 dark elixir per minute Average that out, that is 30,212 Dark Elixir per hour right there. You guys just watched me do it with a level 40 Archer Queen. I didn't drop any troops. I think one raid you guys saw me drop about 30 Barbarians and 30 Archers. Other than that, all my Archer Queen, guys. 100% profit. My Barb King is going to be going up. Uh, again and again and again I might just gem the time and max him out in this next week or two with some serious clash dedication Alright guys so far we have solely focused on the dark dark elixir part of our farming Let's get into the golden elixir stats that we were rating in that 11 minutes We farmed 511,000 gold and 773,000 elixir if we do the math per hour That's 2,788,000 gold and 4,222,000 elixir that is almost 7 million loot per hour guys that is honestly cracked up so let me just get into a couple tips and tricks which may help some of the viewers who may have a lower town hall like seven or eight and don't have a stupidly overpowered farm queen to just snipe 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 real quick like um, so you're constantly moving up and down in trophies you're gonna be rotating between 12 and 1400 you can go a lot lower especially if your town hall is a lot lower so whenever you see uh, vulnerable dark elixir drills or collectors that may have loot throw some barge at them see if you can pick off some extra dark elixir there also uh, some gold collectors if not elixir collectors uh, you don't need to wait for a full army either always bring some barbarians and some archers with you well you put your barb king on the town hall or maybe even wait to put the barb king on the town hall or your archer queen on the town hall and uh, just see what collectors you can pick off before getting the snipe a lot of times you will find a decent amount of extra loot that you can get with just a few simple barbarians and archers which is beautiful uh, just constantly be building a barch in your barracks and do never never wait for a full army always go for the snipes but if you ever find a dead base it's more than worthwhile to put whatever troops you have built whatever troops you have queued just throw them at those collectors and pick up whatever you can uh, go back to your base pick up the barch that's trained at that time and do it all over again guys all right my dudes i hope you found this video extremely informative and you go out and do exactly what i've been doing for the last two days straight with that being said if you enjoyed make sure to subscribe by hitting that canadian cap at the bottom of the screen there as i will be putting out all town hall 11 videos for the next few weeks including my next video on what to upgrade first when you hit town hall 11 it's a list of things that you should prioritize as soon as you get to town hall 11 uh, I'll be building some brand new farming base builds so you can maximize your shield uh, from Town Hall 8, 9, 10, and 11 and protect your loot as best you can. If you want to see something specific, make sure to add a comment below. Uh, as always, guys, enjoy your freedom. This is a house arrest out.